Hello. We're on. Good day. Greetings. Happy Moon Day, 22nd of June. I believe, I think, last time I checked, allegedly, by these calendars. How are we? <coughs> me, 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 me. Let me get my uh, procrastination phonetics on. Let me check that the audio is good. Maybe it's working. I'm going to have a chat with you about an idea that I've had. Yeah, we're good, we're on the wireless, so I've just shared that as well. I've uh, recently put a post in today, this morning. The job centre effectively is a credit centre where you'd go to get credits, um, where you go to claim um, an entitlement. Um, so I'd like to discuss the... Uh, the effectiveness of that job centre, albeit how it is, how we view it, it being dissolved, um, a dissolved entity, um, <laughs> the things we've found out and uh, trading with, you know, uh, the status it has, it's effectively a private corporation that we go and contract mm -hmm. with, how we contract with that private corporation that then gets in touch, you know, with the government on our behalf, <coughs> much like the DWP gets in and interacts once you've gone to them. So we're claiming, we're going to claim, and how we claim. What I've proposed is that um, mm -hmm. these venues could be, instead of job centre pluses, they could be um, venues that we access, manage, run, direct, facilitate. We as the creditors um, would manage this um, through the authority that uh, we would a portion ourselves um, with the Treasury Direct or with a complete system overhaul um, and then starting again either way as an interim period I'd like to suggest that uh, if you know you've got persons you know that your uh, your persons are not you you manage them effectively and you keep the liability separate you've got the jurisdiction the statutory area the statutory common law jurisdictions there let me say that because it's public the public obligations obligations what you're obligated obliged to do in the public what's expected what's assumed and presumed and then we have um, the common law where we've had common law and statutory versus each other for some time um, different you know battles different winners there and we've had constitution I want to point out the constitution is something that's uh, attaching persons to national debt you know that causes a bit of confusion there in the mix so you'll be pleased to know that we've got a brother called Claudio Silvaggi and um, I'm going to chat with him later with sister Karen on Unscrambled what we're going to be doing is going through all of the covenants of human rights. Whereas you envisage the Magna Carta as a um, as a um, document, trust, agreement that's the saviour, habeas, corpus, and etc. of um, miscarriages of justice and incorrect administration of justice. It's not very effective. It doesn't really get backed up. Might have to vexate or you know argue with. I'm just saying that on the whole. Not very, 100%, it's probably 20%, if that, at best, conservative. So Claudio reckons that he might have some kind of international Magna Carta upon the horizon. Whereas we've got the uh, 
cross comparison of uh, American, Canadian, Australian, English, UCC, Admiralty, Maritime, Ecclesia, Common Law, Trust and Equity, venues, jurisdictions, jurisprudences, etc., languages, pens, etymology, Babel, legalese, Latin, contract. You're feeling me, you know, I've given you quite a lot in that mix, so it's no wonder man is uh, struggling and getting lost and not using the correct um, at law level remedy interface instrument person venue um demo, lots of things in the mix there to get you know mixed up with in that mix in that blends so uh, if we look at the human rights articles articles of uh, human rights i think we'll get a lot further a lot quicker so i'm going to share this on youtube as well all right so anybody that i chat with um i'll keep things vague this is a public open group on facebook so it's not private and uh, you know keep all data sensitive data private please but uh, I will upload this to YouTube as well so to hello to YouTube hello to uh, the initiates all around on all the domains so save me repeating myself but I'd like to now further propose if you know you have persons and instruments and about the credit and the money and the debt and the value and the endorsement and the bills of exchange and bonds liquidation you know, assets um, and you know your persons and you've uh, you've been uh, rolling with us for a while and you might want to consider my idea of us forming an international database of self-governing flesh and blood as in the neonatal when the when the when the mum crowns the uh, the offspring the sired you know the fruit of the loins appears yes after the nine months in the womb and you were crowned and you are born unto this realm there is a blood sample taken i believe a heel prick the guthrie card I've not mentioned that ever um that's been presented to me new so the guthrie card and the blood and the dna and the statisticians and that there proves that there is an, uh, an alternative to persons creatures monsters humans citizens misters fictions, lords, sirs, debtors and creditors. There is ultimately, you know, the biological estate, the fundamental flesh and blood that is here, uh, effectively under common law, an equitable supposition, if you know, when the ruling of public common law statutory and equity collide, if one is to evoke the rulings of, then they will be there to help, but uh, not so much to help man, but to help persons and the management of persons, the all caps and the lowercase that begins with a capital meaning that that's a noun, an object, a thing, the name of something so your natural person, your all caps person and man the flesh and blood is rarely, rarely seldom recognised in the legal realm you know, ever at all so we need to express and this is going back to a video that the Benern is seeing has on YouTube of the uh, proclamation of a uh, um, uh, treaty, uh, you know, established um, for um, peaceful uh, management of uh, of knowledgeable ones in a certain status, standing and capacity, you know. What uh, what is your status? Are you public or are you private? We'll say private for this examination. You know, example. What is your standing? I'm here as a grantor, as a set law, my standing here is as of, we are not the defendant, we, you know, and uh, your capacity, do you have the capacity to be legally charged? Well, no, because you've implemented the instrumentation as the um, biblical term reference, grantor, set law, legal. So, state of standing capacity, reservation, retainment of rights means that if you have amended paperwork or done your paperwork correctly in the first instance, then when you've autographed and you've uh, been asked to sign, you may have afforded an autograph, a signature, a signature with reserved rights, you know, liabilities and uh, autographs, etc. However, you so choose and see fit. But there is a correct way of administering and, and, and protecting and reserving in the applicable capacities as a signature on behalf of the equitable instrument, the equitable asset is applied, or as on behalf of the man for the man so you're signing on behalf of the instrument you know the person the entity the birth certificate is uh, is there so if you know all of this and you're able to come you're able to hold this and stand on it and you're wanting to further 
um, express your um, non-consent for mandatory uh, legislation that's about to be applied to humans, persons, creatures, monsters and those that have not found a way to express to higher levels of government or even on an international level that you are not um, res residents of the square mile city of London as Kev put on Saturday so eloquently that I missed to pick up on and expand when was talking about debt and money and what is money, what is debt and um, discharge any debt, how you would do that and how you would go about doing that as we're all in chapter 11 bankruptcy, uh, there's no backing to the money, you know, you can't pay a debt with a debt and uh, promissory notes etc. So let um, me explain to somebody that asked the question that we'd be considered as on the land, um, you know, and uh, United Kingdom, the city of London would be the area where everyone's considered the misters to live and operate from and uh, it's got a jurisdiction of. So we got some straightening out to do and I see there's a bit of fear, there's a bit of anguish, there's a bit of anxiety and we have got some notices to serve to ask for um, in a nutshell alternative provisions to and to express um, using some kind of Roman Catholic instrumentation of the KJV languages and uh, we've got some, some Anglo babble in there, we've also got the correction of the trust in there with the titles and expression and positions and we've also got the requirement you know, to uh, to look at international human rights. There's this international Magna Carta that we may have found through the 1900s um, all the way through the various, there might be seven, I haven't got my sheet to reference all of the, um, you know, uh, human rights covenants and amendments and additions, but yeah, Claudio and I will go through a presentation that will be premiered sometime this week and it will be focused exclusively on the application of the international political covenants of and in there, there are things, rulings, sections, chapters, um, saying, stipulating, uh, for one, all um, persons are afforded the right or not to be recognised as something at law. Um, I'll get my notes and we'll, we'll be more concise, but I'm just giving you a ballpark idea. All um, humans are afforded the right persons. Now, I'm aware of these words and the uh, etymological um, referencing implied meanings and dictionaries and etc so don't worry we'll go through all of the various legal capacities styles statuses for that and we'll separate with the international um, human rights so then when we look at the tierage of law we'd look at you know the ones we see immediately secular um, Roman Catholic legislation act order bill statute this public lower you know contract tort tacit admiralty maritime working up to Ecclesia, you know, common law, um, higher courts of the UK, Crown Courts, um, Courts of Appeal, Royal Courts of Justice, okay, um, the Old Bailey, these separations of what they do, how they see a common law murder, you know, and etc. the charges there that are applied. And um, you'd look up to the equitable remedy there as well, business and administration courts, and you've got the UK and all of that, but you separate, you've got a problem with the UK, the monarchy, the queens, the government, the lords, the ministers, the parliament, would you use their own systems to manage them and tell them they're naughty by and get your remedy? And then you'd have rights to go to a, a war crimes court, which is what they're there for. Um, the Hague, for instance, uh, international community, war crimes, you've got the Geneva Conventions, there are things out there um, above the common law, that are kind of common law, but they're international common law, and we've got an international Magna Carta for all, so with the correct separation and articulation of the finer points of these uh, covenants rights, much like we pointed out with travellers being in ethnicity, and you can uh, you can start separating and going back to the tree of life and the original naked trust. <laughs> That's right, Facebook and YouTube, we are going to go back and get naked um, for those that want to. Um, there is a time to decide. So we thought, <clears throat> with all that said, with all this knowledge and this intent and uh, protection, we don't want you to register a birth certificate. I don't want you to pay £30 a month. We want to act honourably, with clean hands, conscionably, and propose that we discuss um, moving forward before we go to look at job centres being used for um, universal basic income outlet centres and changing the game as we pointed out with the DWP and these contracts, data, consent, souls, certificates, signatures, autographs, creditor, debtor, discharge, um, quotes, case law, case in point, um, etc. Um, things are going to get worse 
when I heard there was going to be payment holidays offered by the commercial sector and that the uh, you know the ones that have had loans and mortgages and payments on holiday I thought the creditors are being nice it said on the radio by uh, following the uh, corona bill the, what's been given to the banks and financial sector from the UK government and uh, they've given these holidays out but what the uh, the debtor the consumer but we're actually the creditor because by us not being here these these um, instruments wouldn't have been created and this uh, other under tierage of money transfer endorsement high frequency market trading wouldn't have begun so you are the creditor um, and you are looking for the promised land all right so these uh, these certificates that we have here these uh, have been used and we've used them the entity for ID and then these creditors that are businesses and managing they're the actual agents and administrators if anything they should be the trustees and agents there we are the grantor sets law and um, the government seems to be benefiting by all of this, doesn't it? So all the relationships are mixed up, but the financial commercial realm is lending out mortgages and monies and loans, credit cards, and giving out payment holidays as the creditor. They're actually the debtors. A holiday is a holy day. That's got connotations of scripture, all right? So we've got the, 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 the agents, trustees, masking and in around as creditors, and they're giving out holy days. But the only time JC got angry was when he kicked out the money changers from the temples in that testamentary you know story there new times roman so we have uh, no regard for holy days given by money changers that's an oxy in itself moron and uh, an insult to the great universal um, natural divine order of things they are the agents trustees at the best debtors they are us a great debt city of london catholic compensation never mind nisara jasara do you feel what i'm saying so um, if everybody got quantitatively e six million pounds, as Kevin quite eloquently put it, again, it would just raise things up to the same level as what they are. It wouldn't affect anything. There's your soul to look at. There's declarations, proclamations, titles, allodial, fee simple, absolute title, property, you know, possessions. There's the great um, realm outside that needs fixing. And just by getting a few pennies in a bank account, it's not going to solve the world's problems, I assure you. If anything, it will just alleviate to a higher level. Um, and more chaos so we need to go about this correctly concisely honorably conscionably and so uh, the debtors us that are the creditors in the wrong position you know the truth the, the lie dressed up as a truth the truth dressed up as a lie and uh, they're offering holy days what happens when the three months is up and these payment holidays are finished is month four you're required to pick up the last three months that have just transpired march april and may so now in June, you need to start paying the combined total missed of those three months, which may equate to 1,500 quid. So 1,500 quid now needs to be made up and paid over the next nine or 10 months, starting from June. There's gonna be debt, okay? More debt than we know of, and debts and charges and accounts, and these lot don't have heart. So as we're all insolvent and bankrupt, and we can prove that, and there is no money because it's not backed by anything and we are the backing of the money we are the 99 percent we are the souls we understand how this works we have an obligation to our lineage to the children to the family to the ones thinking to take their own lives through desperation heartache the hardship is about to take all right it's docking on our shores we are here to move that hardship and as kev said on saturday again i'm quoting you a lot kev i do remember i didn't comment on everything but you did say why isn't there a soft ship you know where is that soft ship the receiver ship will be coming in next that's another one next to the guardian ship all right so um mm, we got a job and we got to stop the ships coming in and uh and and the death and the misery and the suicide and the heartache and the, the, the the, the, you know everything that comes alongside with this legal obligation the public side so if you want to reside in the private and you want to keep hold of your person your legal instrumentation your insurance policy your person the birth certificate we don't want that we will never want that we want to show you how to use it properly and what insurance and indemnification that can bring it may be that we do one of three things with this certificate we keep changing the goalposts at all times i will announce that we're looking to create an international private encrypted database of um not sovereigns we look at the word and the spelling of sovereigns that was a nice uh, tom barnett video um the godfather man of equity law and etc 
Um, I will look at the spelling of Souverain because, uh, yes, that could be quite a, a faux pas there. But there we go, we continuously improve. But we'll look at an international um, database, not registration. No, that's not correct. You're going to consent to being included on a private trust's international database of flesh and blood, man, womb man, man of the womb. And we will then make an international treaty, much like the Bernicean did some years ago, quite some years ago. And we will push that forward and it will be recognised and heard. It won't be submitted. It will be introduced. It will be declared, a declaration, a proclamation, etc. So with regards to your soul and Nasara Jasara, common law court, kindness credits, we buy any debt. How's about you discharge any debt, you reclaim your soul, you protect your assets and you make an international declaration in front of universal, natural, positive, divine laws and you say, I am here, here are my persons, this is whom I am and um, I'm with these. Yes, and we all then start um, collating as an umbrella, um, you know, and backing each other up and we, um, we, we consent to being um, included together as one, as one voice, but separate and individual. And we have the same um, mandate for um, the legal jurisprudence now. And we make it, so the laws and the, the legislation and all of the systems don't need to change. All that needs to change is that uh, man needs to separate and stand up. The second coming of Jesus that some are waiting for, the Christians and the literalists out there. Well, let me tell you at the point of registration, when that second entity is created, two weeks four weeks later all right that's the second coming right there the ship the citizenship is created and titles are transferred over without mum and dad's knowledge mum informs what is she informing on that's a that's a position that's a motion and an action and informing so going from the allodial title absolute fee simple grant or set law and going to a trustee the pair that rents is the legal title that they then get they don't have the uh, you know examples for fines taking uh, assets out of school in term time and etc and um, rights duties and obligations titles as we've said with property the way to, to de demonstrate that you uh, have got the access to ownership there's another ship the ownership that's a very dangerous ship because those mean that it's tied to you and can be put in danger of um, of uh, let's say taking control of goods orders and whatnot yes yeah? so the ownership the beneficial titles is the better one um, as the elite don't own anything but have the beneficial rights too so when you want to prove property and who owns what then we have titles titles and rights to uh, express how property is owned when you move those titles and rights and they're non-disclosed that will fall down won't it when we look at the shepherd and the sheep and the chattel and uh, the way that it all is there and the flock the shepherds keeping the sheep and we find the latin and the the language in the court, the Bible mixed up and uh, legalese and we, we've done a lot of digging and we can iron all this out. They've, uh, they've, they've had a good run. We need to declare certain um, facts as common knowledge and declare peacefully on, a, uh, on an international level. Um, that's as best as I put it. But then once that's done, we would then require that the job centres be turned from private corporations making business and charging and as agents we would put ourselves in there or we'd, we would reappoint we would make a you know a sacking of and we would introduce a universal basic income and we'd introduce slowly system change you know never mind climate change we're going to go through a system change extinction rebellion man's about to be extinct you know here and as you can see um, your rights, your reservation of rights, are you a creature and a monster and subject to statutory rule and regulation? Or are you going to stand up and claim? Are you going to let the divine right of kings override your, you know, uh, <laughs> inherent, innate, um, creator given or, uh, you know, naturally divine order? If you don't fight for what is yours, if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. You have a belief, you know, that's because you don't know. So we know quite a lot, but we don't know all. With the addition of the international covenants of the human rights all the way from the mid-1900s up to 1998, um, there is no way of getting out of this um, with the trust, with the correction, with the authority, with the consent, with the witnesses, with the knowledge, with uh, the commercial side of it, with the, uh, you know, I'm talking bankruptcy, um, the financial uh, monetary mechanic side, the language side, the judicial side, 
Um, there's no need for war, there's no need for blood, there's no need for anger, there's no need for vexation. It's an intellectual uh, movement as much as I've seen elsewhere, but this one, this one's focused and poised and it's ready for the final stage, the addition of all of the international human rights with what we've got, with the strength that we're at, with the intent and, uh, you know, the, uh, the the forward looking thinking on that we're going to look at looking after ourselves the return of the creditor it's a christ-like consciousness the birth of the of, of the uh, of the of the ship the citizen at the registration point with mum and dad the informant at the general registry office it's creating that um, instrument there um you know we'll utilize the fact that uh, that's where the the liability lies with most of the civil issues you know, when you breach common law, that comes into a different realm and that's a contract where you didn't consent and something's happened, you know, so we separation of language, instruments, persons, the second coming, the second fiction, you know, your data self, if it helps you in any way, you have your data self, yes, and uh, you have a date of birth, but you are born, you know, ships are birthed, we've been through this a long time with the merchant traders and uh, the dangers of it, so it's a, it's a religion, written down in the Catholicism, in the, in the New World Testament. It's written also, example, Genesis and the Trust and certain other um, things that are eloquently put in there with regards to the creation, Adam and Eve. But then, you know, it's, it, it's a choice. So all we're saying is we're about to declare, we're about to uh, create a database with a view to uh, putting consenting um, man onto it. It's not a register. And it's uh, it's it's going to move forward with a, a card, a card of evidence of life and essence. So if you're a mum, if you're a uh, Omega Queen Prince, uh, and uh, you, you want to uh, evidence yourself, you can do. But you may be carrying um, a little one, and so therefore you'd have essence with you as well. The essence, the life, life and essence. It's not an identity card, but that will be given a number. Those that consent to go onto the private database. Um, of of which I'm uh, proposing would then be issued the card the hard copy would go email to you so you'd have the PDF always with you you'd be on the database encrypted in the trust on the dot com and then you'd get a plastic uh, some kind of uh, evidence of life in essence with the number that you've uh, registered on the on the you know on the on the database with linked to that and then um, we would kind of uh, yeah, establish uh, you know whom and when and why and where you would knowingly under full disclosure choose to consent you would make a declaration a proclamation all right and it would be all you it's nothing all we're going to do is facilitate it and then we'd collect a database and uh, this would go with the international um, treaty proclamation um, declaration peace treaty etc inspired by the Bernicean many years ago search the Bernicean on YouTube Look at the, uh, I don't think it's a sovereign declaration, but if it's a treaty, we'll, uh, I think, find it. Um, I've posted it before. It's not hard to find, and uh, you'll get the idea there, the basic premise. What happened to that? I'd like some information. I'd like to find out. Um, and the notices we're doing to uh, higher levels of government are being looked at still. They're not ready. The universal declaration um unilateral not universal um, declaration and um, schedule of fees is being looked at and still mulled over and there was um, a data subject access request uh, under gdpr that was put out for you as well to have a look at so um yes yeah, so i'm very excited to meet claudio later and get the you know polishing of the armor done with regards to all of these covenants uh, political human rights and uh um, see which bits there, what words um, to transpire to, and um, how you can look at uh, you know anybody internationally, and that's why I thought of an international database. Then, so once we get to grips with this, and we make it easier for man to uh, um, witness themselves there, how to witness themselves to non-consent, to conditionally accept, to accept for value, and then to move forwards with the correct implementation of the instrumentation. You know, you'd have backup. You're no longer on your own, is what we're thinking. You're no longer one or two or a, a handful of. If you're in a little village and you feel isolated, it's a way of connecting up and moving out, you know, the message, the meaning, the intent, and um, us all looking after each other. It means a bit of responsibility. It won't be done for free. You know, this isn't, nothing ever happens for free. We've got no resources. 
but we can make it happen. Greg can manage and look after a secure database. Myself, Kev and others that will be appointed would then, in every city, would need somebody equivalent to an agent or a trustee, you know, a trustee at law, not a legal trustee, but a proper trustee, um, you know, and that was how we'd manage this, Facebook and YouTube, so here up, you know, later on, we will be looking at um, every major city on this landmass of Briton, Britons on the land, then uh, we would sort that out, and then we'd look at, uh, you know, uh, moving management that way through the main dot com internationally, We'd look at the same thing there, cities, every city appointed. And then uh, we, uh, international is equivalent to the ruling of equity. You could argue that equity, some people say it was invented in the 1600s. Well, let me tell you, the equitable, you know, if there's a trust in Genesis in the old, uh, if there is, well, I propose there is a trust. Um, and if there is a trust in Genesis in the Old Testament, that's quite a few thousand years before 1600s isn't it so when we get taught about trust and equity and the rulings and the acts and the policies and the implementation and all of this um much like the word sovereign being referenced to jc um prince of princes king of kings advocate and surety ambassador and witness for okay that's well before if we give the queen sovereignty and qe2 is appointed and coronated then we must have possessed sovereignty maybe not spelt the way that it is there but there is, uh, you know, these arguments for um, these uh, these old times. So equity, all right, if it was uh, a creator, if, you know, um, then there was equitable uh, measures and uh, rules, processes, laws, fundamental, natural, divine, universal in play well before the 1600s. So again, there's a lot of rewriting to be done, not just biblically, not just in the way of thoughts to actually knowing, not just in the way of consciousness movement and um, paradigm shifting um, quantum <coughs> from the binary to the quantum effectively from the four to the five d dimension um what i know um but it starts somewhere and it starts with the spark the spark in the in the brain the wanting the intent losing the fear fear and jealousy their sisters i, I hear all right so um, they don't go well together. Um, anger and hate. Mm, dark side. There is anger. Mm, only leads to hate. H hate mm, you, you. leads to fear. Fear leads to mm, admiralty. Dark side. You, you. you see, so we're learning to break that chain. We've got unborn lineage here to be looking at the health, the uh, security. Um, schools, viruses, pandemics, epidemics, markets crashing, world unsettlement, France rioting, um, everything is unsettled and topsy-turvy. So what we're looking to do is to quickly, you know, assert ourselves should push come to shove later down the proverbial line. Also, man is, uh, if they are printing and quantitatively easing, and as we explained on Saturday through the cast on Indiglo, We've covered there about what is uh, debt and um, discharge any debt. If we are printing paper, you know, and making money created on paper by banks printing it and lending it governments, yes, and then we've got the credit on the screen, um, zeros, ones and binary, you know, effectively, zeros and ones being put in to uh, create credit. See Professor Richard Werner, Renegade Inc. from RT News, an independently researched Professor Richard Werner, and his studies there on financial fiscal regulatory control management credit creation how it's invested the you know the history itself um very very um intricate uh, edward ellis the equity lawyer i'm uh, i'm happy to say we uh, we had a little you know spurt from him and that was interesting in itself so you know there are uh, rules to the mechanics of money and if we are well we are um, looking at the taxes, the bankruptcy, um, the insolvency, the credit, the discharge statements, and what is value? What is what is really valuable? You have intrinsic value, non-intrinsic value, intellectual property, rights being property, your soul being property, unarm sanctum. You know, 1066 Doomsday Book. What's that? A registration of something in case the shit goes to the fan. At Doomsday. How many souls did we have? Let's check the Doomsday Book. Land Tenure, Adjudicator Act, uh, Land Registry, um, etymological mashups in language that have led us to this uh, dissonance and, 
you know, resonance. So there is a war, all right, we can prove that. There's a spiritual war, there's a financial war. All's fair in love and war. So uh, let's uh, call a truce to this war, a, a truce of trust, and, um, and use the technology that we have to our advantage. And the job centres ultimately would be, in my opinion, um, used as a credit uh, access control centre for the universal basic income and we would manage it that way we would authorise it um, with apps, phone, same as what you do every day put your thumbprint on it and you'd manage it all this way credit for all you know, access and profits these is where we get in uh, denial when profits are related to man's access to something but is there a profit in that? You know, is it profitable for the economy? Oh well, let's look at that first before it's even considered. If it's profitable for the economy and there's money to be made, then that's how the earth gets raped and man gets slaughtered when you know it becomes profitable for such things as when the rights, you know, you've substituted, you've submitted, um, you've declared, you've made a declaration to, and um, you know, you do a declaration to the DWP. Can they ask you to make claims claiming your entitlement, you know, and the legal statuses that we get given there? As an entitlement, Mr, Ms, Mrs, um, you know, etc. Um, date of birth, surname, and you get entitled to that status, and that uh, is public. That public has obligations. So what we're saying is, we move to the private. There's knowing, sentient, peaceful, you know, loving, whatever, non-sovereign. To be fair, it would be um, self-governing. We'll get up with the correct verbatim words together over the next few. Um, days and weeks so um, you don't need to register your birth certificate with us because that's important you keep that yourself that's not yours it's uh, owned by somebody else you're the title you know uh, deed holder of that in due course and um, you use that for um, your remedy in many ways it's an insurance policy a clause a Santa Claus and clause and uh, you know you can uh, you can look at that any which way you want. It's not legal advice, but uh, one's asking you to give up your person and transfer titles and rights and etc. I would be uh, sceptical of it. May be of a benefit, and I'm not out here to vexate anybody that's with the common law court or the kindness credits or we buy any debts and other such uh, services, sites and entities that may be available looking to obtain your person. So uh, we are just different. We like to teach and give the power rather than obtain and hold the power. And um, we like to share, and we like to uh, we like to see all as well. Um, we're non for profit, and we have one of the uh, you know the best technologies before us. Trust, the true currency of man, and the trust there, and the correction of it, and the management of it. Um, do you trust? You know, that's that's been lost. So we have to recognise, we have to start trusting ourselves again. Um, working together, making sure you know what is what, and then um, there won't be no crying, I hope not anyway, and theft, um, heartache, pain, public liability. Um, get things out to the common knowledge. We could look at declaring all the world's resources, man's common heritage again, that would be nice. That's simple enough to be doing. Um, there is... A force here at the minute working with us and there are many good forces working and um, we have many good ideas there are many continents on the same idea but whatever you uh, recognize the forces the force of law at present and the courts and the police and uh, the army we need to all do this intelligently logically and um, you know move out to a better higher vibration and uh, if the truth could come out it now should be the time for protection for honesty, for clean hands, for the time of 2025. Um, <laughs> I've got a lot of detailed stuff about Nasara Jasara that I've posted on the .com FYI, and I'm keeping this basic and simple, but I am fully aware of the lunary, um, astrological times and uh, synchronicities, calendars, events. It's, uh, it's uh, for instance, quantum sciences inventing um, and a new language being invented to explain quantum sciences we're going from binary to quantum on a on a, on a scientific power uh, magneto electro level but we're also going from quantum in the in the language of written um, communication um, correct sentence now time um, quantum grammar um, grammaton tetragrammaton the one of the original names for the lord there um, creator god and um, we've got the quantum so these have gone simultaneously out and uh, 
I'm here as a, as a simple voice to say um, the universe is, uh, is moving whether we want it to or not and those that do not evolve will get left behind um, and there's dangers in that like, being left behind so we've been given an opportunity we've been given technology been given new languages and um, it's working well we've been here we're going into our fourth year in December okay so there's no selling of anything there's no profiting of anything there's no mass marketing of anything um, we've been honorable and conscious and clean hands all this time through and I did make a promise saying this year will be the last year so whether you like it or not I've had enough of this and I'm getting out and I want to take the exodus of the indentured slaves um, as many of as, as far as we can um, without any registration of like I say person certificates uh, thousands of pounds and um, putting your house on the line thousands of hours of courses all right we need to break this out to the family the little ones the youth and we need to protect them we have an obligation and a duty um, and I am uh, getting tired and old and we have too much power and technology before us to not to try so once, like I say, you have consented to, um, if you was to want to consent to get in with this, then you would, uh, yeah, you would stay here, or you would find us on the private domain, or you would send an email, or you'd watch a YouTube update that I'm going to do with Tube with Kev, and talk about this. The uh, the video with Claudio that I'm doing later will be premiered on Sun and Moon. I will mention a bit of this in that. Um, when he mentions about the international side and the, the usefulness of and the separation and simplicity for all um, and we'll go through the entities and statuses and how to implement this implementation because I can hear what you're saying already about human rights and what jurisdiction and how that is and while well, that's going to be inferior to but it's to add to other um, effectiveness that we have um, notices and you know styles and statuses and proclamations and uh, intents that we've got there to uh, execute and uh, and to serve so it will all just uh, it's nice to have you know not well, this isn't putting all your eggs in one basket but it's nice to have things to fall back upon should you need to it's better to have too much than not enough so when you're fighting all of these uh, assumptions presumptions um public common law duties obligations um then it's nice to know and we've got the right to do this under you know um, faith under um, international but these might not always be the same or there or things may change as you can see a lot is changing before your very eyes the future is before your very eyes the future and the time is now and um, that's it it's not an answer to everybody's problem but it's a simplified better honorable clean solution to something which has been around for too long um, 1302 you know 1066 doomsday book sorry first 1302 you know and uh, <laughs> so you could argue since the crucifixion of the son of God in Bronze Age Palestine yes you could so it's been going on a very long time nothing's getting better we keep chopping and changing Nick Clegg former um, Deputy Prime Minister working for Facebook you know this is how this, this, this game moves so we need to emulate it in some ways and move um, uh, comparable um, counter moves all right for things that are effective things that are recognized things that are backed up things that are sourced and referenced and cited not some airy fairy 2000 years old locked up in a cave in the cellars of you know below or things that we might have heard from somebody that once might have had a friend whose uncle's brother's sister's husband what you know um, and things that actually do say this works we've done that there's the you know case in point there's the reference there's the delivery there's the testimonial there's the discharge there's the settlement they're not estoppel and deadlock not just ifs bups and airy fairies not to uh, you know the way that things have gone and property and rights uh, when it comes to blood and souls i'm sorry we draw the line all right and we're here to help we're not here to vexate we're not here to say we're experts in all lawful matters we're not here to say we are the trust masters what we're here to say is a small tight knit community fam clan initiates of self that may or may not be sovereign either way um we're here to try and save the bloodshed that this legal financial fiat chattel flock shepherd the lambs are about to get fleeced i think and then they might get a little bit and then they might get a little bit uh, slaughtered 
so uh, yeah the shepherd might not be doing his job properly so we come to do a little bit of uh, interjecting now with regards to what your rights are how to retain them what your titles to property are how to express that and then uh, how to use the persons for the uh, public you know obligations and liabilities that you find yourself under that isn't actually you because it's all civil and uh, the civil law and the laws of contract and the tort laws and the admiralty the maritime the ecclesia uh, it's just incredible you know officers out there that don't know what they're doing they're an officer and they don't know anything about the, the you know it all needs to be re-educated out and we won't have the right to do that unless we are travelers in a private capacity that uh, are uh, peaceful that are going out doing the good work kind of which is you know kind of what the churches should be doing and the religious sectors there and helping and not hoarding the gold in cellars and closing the doors to the homeless at night making profits claiming to save your soul while making you know idolizations of the breach in the ten commandments their images graven images pictures statues you know things being ignored um, and claiming to be a Christian country, I swear to the, I swear to God, do you ever take the Father's name in vain? But I will take the sacrifice for. I swear to God, if the JC was to come down now and visit a church, I think he'd shut them all down, would he not? Yes. Why? For failing to be exactly what they claim to be, um, knowing and belief. Your belief system is uh, is got to be uh, reassessed. I'm afraid. Um, in some ways and uh, maybe not in others and mine has but uh, this is this is the area that we're at here this is a, a key area of momentary and um, threat and um, war are we still at war you know there's posts in here we've put about the war the warfare the warship and um, worship war were you know and so uh, violence never solved anything the only thing to be scared of is fear itself and those with the eyes and ears, they will, uh, they will listen up. And uh, if you believe that there are other options and safer options out there that we could look at as well, then they will be considered and they will be evaluated. Um, we have come a long way. We really have. And we've lost a lot of the fear, but we're not into the promised land. Alain, you know. <laughs> right now. Love Paul, James, Ben, Lindsay, Margaret, Nick, Nita, Dean, and Joe. So yeah, we will look at uh, making the database. That's going to get made anyway. We'll look at um, the international addition to the notices, declarations, proclamations, title claims, etc. To strengthen them to what we've already got. And then we'll look at um, some more and chats with Claudio and Kevin, myself, after this initial um, breaking of the ice with presentation with uh, Unscrambled tonight, then uh, we'll get him back and uh, we'll focus on how we can articulate some concise, and then you are free to formulate as you see fit, as you wish. But there will be, you see, a preferred technique, a simple style that will work, rather than chapter and verse and, you know, one using one way, one using another, one using a mixture of the first two, one using constitution, one using UCC, one using constitution UCC, one using Ecclesia, one using trust equity, a bit of UCC. You see where I'm going? There is a, there's a, there's a, there's a code, there's a business practice, there's rules and regulations, and we found out 80% of what we've needed to. So, uh, yeah, you want to then let others know whom and what you are and you think that that is the time and it would be a good thing to do then we'd, we'd issue evidence of life and essence you can download them for free on the dot com now but what we would do is attach um, to the database a reference to where you have made declarations and so forth as a you know look at the traveller ethnicity of a traveller and what the benefits are of that um, and travellers themselves and the references to travellers I don't think it's wise for everybody to get up, as instructed in the Bibles before in the, in the exodus of the house of Egypt, and um, when the indentured de slaves were freed and they were to leave everything, their family and whatever, and you know just to get up and leave and go. I think that would be quite foolish. There's quite some looking at the orders and the requirements, commandments and the movements of the Bible, um, 
Abraham Moses stories of and uh, Exodus isn't what they were doing and you know killing of and beheading and the firstborn it's not it's not it's not uh, it's not nice it's it's good to have Hitchens to compare to you may hear some Christopher Hitchens comparables coming out through all of this um, and others that I'm being influenced by as well as the final um, bits pieces sinking in the second coming the Christ-like consciousness that's not me saying anything other than a Roman Catholic system has, uh, has encoded this and put it in you know into the story of so you need to find your way out get out of her my people as Santos has said if you do not wish to share um, with her in her sins um, again I'm not saying that that's true factual correct it's a story it seems to be coded messages there and Babylon itself um, <laughs> and the stories and the comparisons and the studies that we've done gods and uh, the likes of rights, divine rights of kings, battles, lineage, history, lands, doomsday book, languages, registration, registration of land, property, titles, rights. What have you got to lose? Ask yourself. Is it worth the risk? Ask yourself. Do you trust them? If you don't trust somebody and have failed many times before, then that should be reason enough itself to question um, the relationship, let alone is it a benefit you know, to you? It's not a benefit then. What is it? Liberty. You get liberties, uh, entitlements. You know, you got your rights there as well. So um, it's a lot in the mix, and um, the debts, the suicide. You know how to manage that. How to speak to. Is it your account or is it the company's account? You know, when it comes to money. Oh, they ring you up and they say, oh, yes, it's about your account. What do you mean my account? I don't have an account. That's your account. You gave me that account. I didn't make that account. I didn't build that account. I didn't ask for that account. Well, maybe you did if it was a financial bank account. But, you know, it's, a, it's something else like gas, electric, utility bill. And they're asking you to shore up the uh, levy there. Um, sort it out. Get the credits in. Pay to the promises. And uh, you haven't. And then they're chasing you. Collection. You know, in fines, enforcements. And they're asking you about your account. That's not my account. I don't claim that. That's your account. It belongs to you, said um, <laughs> supplier, not creditor. Because you pay the credits, so you must be the creditor if you're paying the credits and putting the promises in. So enough's enough. Yeah, you've seen how much they can print and what they can do. Let's just keep it going. Let's spread the love. Let's spread the energy. Let's make sure all women and children, starving, homeless, refugees, our obligations and duties are to all, you know, the animal kingdom, the plant kingdom, the environment, to self, to your own biological estate. Um, we have the means and the resources and the technology to make millions of zeros as much as we want. We can give them out in the forms of credit. We can track and trace everything. We don't need to be invasive. We could have this technology, track and trace, but we could have it for other reasons. We could have it for non-invasive reasons and to manage, you know, the world's resources as our common heritage. You go to a Venus Project style Jack Fresco. Yes, indeed, Inasara Jasara offering to pay that much money out. I mean, that's an insult in a way because that should already be done. It should already be enforced. What we do is we limit the judges and justices' discretions and require the administration of justice, not business. And we've got good at doing that through paperwork, through presenting an officer to a court, through offices, through wherever we go, and how we do that. And you've seen us do it and you've done it yourself now, some of you. So why haven't others that come out with these proclamations and declarations and all of this and, uh, you know, signatories such as high ranking officials in and um, UN related, uh, chief related, but yet nothing. So you've got to ask yourself, mm -hmm. you've got to ask yourself, what go on? How do you enforce that? How do you limit that? What do you do? What do you require? It's uh, the only constant thing in this game is uh, the, the same constant thing being left out. There's millions and thousands of different um, ideas and remedies and uh, comparables, what we can do, what we should do, what we should be saying, how we should be doing it. We keep going around in circles. No progression's ever being made. The same old tunes being sung. You might change the DJ, but you haven't changed the track. We are here to do both. Flip that script, change, mix, shatter, and force you to decide um, without violently causing a public disturbance to the public trust and peace. And protesting and submitting and begging and putting in petitions you finally find out what they are and how they are you know and your lawful alternatives you soon get annoyed um, when man finds out there is no debt you know and we're all 
you know, going bankrupt is a, is a correct way to do things because everything is that way. Private bankers are caught to be lending money, trading souls with birth certificates, taking property, denying access, people dying waiting for personal independent payments, footballers telling governments about free school meals. Why don't they just pay benefits out in the summer? And then therefore, the ones that are... It's bad enough that because schools are closed, they're saying that kids might... Children, assets, offspring, but they're saying children, kids might not eat. But why, why aren't they eating then? Let's look at society and stop everything. Back to work. Hang on a minute. You know, so, uh, you know, there's a lot in that for you. Essentially, those are the plans. And job centres should be sure. We should look at liberating job centres, yes, down the line, once we're all protected and the estate's protected and you've done your notices and you're all out there, then you can take on your witness, ambassador, you know, prince, princesses, alpha, omega, and peacefully go out and liberate some uh, job centres. Shh. And express under common law what our new requirements are but we could try noticing and letting folk know but uh, again no harm no malice no vexation and we uh, we require now these centers be turned into you know and we get the media involved we get a bit of information like this out into the media and let them know what they're missing out on well, not that it won't would ever happen um, it'd be reported on and lied about probably but you know something's got to be done non-violent intelligent out of the box conscionable action so uh, I think that that would be a rather good thing rather than registering your birth certificate with somebody I think the inclusion of your uh, sensitive data um, private you know sentient self man not your person man being recognised as part of a you know lawful original styly trust where there's no paperwork there's no courts there's no stamps there is paperwork there is there is some but not as what you know it and these notary public public notary stamp seals and we can do what we want to be fair and to some extent as long as you don't breach the common laws and ten commandments i've been told so um do as thy will and thy will um, will save you all right i'll leave it there thank you very much Just reading some comments. Thank you, Nick. I need more information about UCC. If you can post anything about UCC, Uniform Commercial Codes, other than D David Windmiller, um, then yeah, I'd like to know as well about the uh, application. Supposition. Thank you to all that have listened. Those on the replay. Thank you to YouTube as well because I'm going to download this and uh, put it onto YouTube for there because they don't all have Facebook either and um, they miss out on bits and bobs so we're going to look at like I say that private uh, inclusion of flesh and blood man to our trust family etc to be confirmed it hasn't been done yet it's just an idea we're going to give evidence of life and essence cards that would have a number on associated with your um, inclusion, consent, declaration and everything like that and, uh, on our database. We will be internationally um, informing of and using in a, in a style of a you know, declaration, proclamation, peace treaty. I've talked about this many a time, but now it seems we're being forced to do it with the protection of rights needing, needing to be protected more than ever right now. Um, the dangers that are out there. Um, legal civil dangers we're talking about here there's never been more uh, abhorrent and apparent so there's uh, options for and then obviously learning educating yourself um, moving in and um, I suppose once you get out of civil public legal where does that leave you leaves you in law leaves you in the private yeah out of the public of assumptive presumptive obligations imagine the sigh of relief you could breathe yeah it's a, it's not a place that's been dreamt up it really exists it's there now it's waiting for you um us it will always be there i dare say but the access to it and the information surrounding how to get there and remain there um, in honor um, will be less and less so all i'll say is that uh there's options and choices for you to make. We don't tell you what to do. 
we don't like I say want any registration it's an inclusion with an assembly um, I'll get some of the uh, phonetics of the hermetics going and uh, principles natural divine just universal positive and um, with the publications and the articulation and the knowledge that we've all got between us and what we've put in as the uh, Masters Guild and subsequent publications and chats and hangouts after that um, the human rights aspect of it um, the language, the etymological side, the monarchial side, the historical side, the articulation, the acts, the bills, the legislation um, it's all there now so never before has it been so easy and um, put together and so brilliantly described um, and I'll leave it there so we've got uh, some more to talk about this is just a presentation of an idea and how we're going to be doing that with regards to the emails, letters, notices, um, interaction, comments that we're seeing with regards to possible ideas, future kings, saviors, Masara Jasara, the future, safety, security and lineage. All of them others are uh, using a third party entity of which you've got to place trust in. Let's use yourself, let's man, use man, you use you and I'll use me. And we'll all together help each other and we'll do something for ourselves knowingly with full disclosure of the authority, yeah, and stand upon it, learn, strengthen, lose the fear, manage it, and never look back. Never. That means you're ejecting the square mile city of London and the crown, and we will do so in an honourable, non violent, intellectual way. By doing so, we'll also free the world, though, you see. And this is where they reside amongst Switzerland and um, offshore secret locations on their own private islands with you know business billionaire tycoons such as gates and and that jewish uh, billionaire zuckerberg is it where we are now so um i think this is uh, the way forward it's one of the better ways forward and it will protect it will help it will do many things that others aren't really offering to do and um if you can help me out or give me any other direction correction then it's welcome you can do that on hangouts that you'll see podcasts should I say, and Kevin, I and Claudia will be getting together, the human rights will be expanding upon, and um, notices to higher levels of UK government will be um, finished off, and then international notices and things like that will be done with regards to how we manage and go on as a, as a lawful private family, not a public um, legislative entity. <laughs> All right, so uh, yes, thank you. Much love, much work to be doing. And, yeah, we'll keep up with each other. Um, I'll see you later. Ciao for now.